Voters in Mexico elected climate scientist and former Mexico City Mayor Claudia Sheinbaum into power by a wide margin in early June. Among her top priorities as she prepares to take office will be dealing with an unwieldy regional migration crisis. During the final candidates debate, Shane Baum mentioned challenges Mexico faces when it comes to record levels of immigration. Mexico is a place where immigration originates. We also are a passageway for migrants and a country that receives repatriated migrants. For that reason, migration policy in Mexico is so difficult and problematic. Mexico's next president promises to protect Mexicans living abroad. The most important thing is that no one is forced to migrate out of necessity. We have proposed that the United States create a fund of 20 billion U.S. dollars for regional development instead of spending that money on weapons and war. Shane Baum will have a window of opportunity in October, one month before the U.S. elections in November, to set forth her administration's migration policy priorities. Political analysts say she'll have some leverage because the United States needs Mexico's cooperation to contain regional migration flows. But ongoing violence in parts of Mexico forces large numbers of Mexicans to flee their hometowns and villages. Migrant workers are a common sight here in the Mexican capital and around the country. They're a constant reminder of the migration challenges Mexico's new president will face upon taking office. Political analyst Carlos Heredia says there's a high demand for labor in the U.S., but no will to revise broken immigration policies. In the United States, the economy is growing and there is strong demand for labor. And there are between seven and nine million vacant jobs needed to be filled. But they want to block immigration. So there is a structural contradiction in U.S. immigration policies. He says immigration policy contradictions emerge when the U.S. holds congressional elections. The U.S. holds elections every two years, so we are always in an immigration crisis. The pressure will not let off anytime soon. That's because each new day, more and more migrants enter Mexico, hoping to travel north and to a new, more promising life in the United States. Frank Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.